Happy Sunday, St. Timothy. I'm Joan Jimenez. And I'm Vicki Fershen, and we're part of the Walking with Moms Respect Life Ministry at St. Tim's. And, and here, here are, are your announcements. announcements. There is no Catholicism 101 this weekend. Please pray for Father Patrick, Matt, and those they are leading on pilgrimage in Italy. Our Knights of Columbus are rocking the parish courtyard once again with Rocktoberfest. Dinner with the Rolling Stones this Friday, October 11th. This benefits Orange County's newest Catholic high school, Cristo Rey, serving underserved students in economically challenged areas. Tickets are $50 each or $500 for an upgraded table for eight. Purchase your tickets today on page nine of the bulletin. On behalf of Father Patrick, we are pleased to announce that our 2023-2024 annual report is here. We've placed reports in the pews and on the back table near the church doors for you to review. Lastly, October is Respect Life Month. There are a variety of ways that you can celebrate the precious gift of human life and build a culture that cherishes and protects it. Next weekend, there will be a second collection for the resource centers assisting mothers and babies in Orange County, including the Life Center of Santa Ana. Additionally, next weekend, our St. Timothy Walking with Moms ministry will have a table in the courtyard after the masses with pro-life resources, information, actions you can take to help save the unborn, and different ways you can support parents and babies in need. Please check our bulletin for the amazing resources, events, and prayer groups happening in the coming weeks. We invite you to pray about how you can get involved Every effort to protect a life matters. Yes, absolutely. Here is a short video on the impact that organizations and ministries like the Life Center of Santa Ana and Walking with Moms have on our community. In March of 2020, the USCCB released the initiative Walking with Moms in Need. Our parishes need to be islands of mercy amidst a sea of indifference. I also think it's important that we allow them to see that it's more about just saying no to abortion, but how do we support mothers who are in crisis pregnancies or who are vulnerable to abortion, and how we support them in choosing life and walking with them. It really is the Holy Spirit in action. A few examples of walking with moms would be our mentor match program, where we invite the men and women from our parishes to become faithful mentors to those families that we serve. I think what stood out the most was how much she wanted me to succeed, not just with the pregnancy, but with me as a person. She is the biggest support in my life. Walking with moms is kind of like having like a guardian angel with you. You have somebody that's there to protect you and that's there to encourage you and is there to guide you to do the right thing and remove your own barriers. You know, all these women coming together and they're here with open arms and willing to help you out and know about you and know about your story. It puts our faith and our belief and in life into real action and it allows parishes as a group to be able to reach out to women, reach out to those who are in crisis pregnancies, those who are abortion vulnerable, to find hope, it puts what our prayer, what our faith means into real action. 